Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Manchester United are through to the Carabao Cup final, so let's speak about the game that led us there. <laughs> Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, Cappy. Yeah. Manchester United 2, Nottingham Forest 0. We won 5 0 on aggregate overall in this semi final, which means we've confirmed our spot in a Carabao Cup final up against Newcastle United. And we'll speak a little more yeah. about that later on. But for now, um, hey, Cappy, I'm going to remind everybody, everybody watching, that there is a. Question of the day. That wasn't me. Shut up. So you guys and girls know the spill about question of the day. We give you the question and you guys give us the answer before the end of the episode. And it's a something it's something a little different today. So here we go. Okay. Name the player. My name is affiliated with both Manchester United and Crystal Palace. As a player, I scored 70 goals and 373 appearances for the Red Devils and also won an FA Cup in 1977. Okay. After retirement, I managed the Eagles on four separate occasions, famously leading my side to a 1990 FA Cup final appearance where we eventually were runners up. Who am I? So ladies and gents, get your answers in the comment section below. And at the end of the episode, we'll give you the answer. I think it was safe to say that in this game, our intensity dropped from what you would usually expect. There were a few changes in there, of course, and we had the 3-0 lead. Nottingham Forest didn't really pose much of a threat, except for a few scenarios where we fell asleep as a team. Quality going forwards was a bit sloppy in terms of not executing passes the right way and sloppy touches. It didn't all come together. I'd attribute most of those things to maybe a lack of focus. Even then, that's something to pay attention to so that we don't drop the standard facts. As the late great Kobe Bryant said, the job ain't finished. And it's the same scenario here for Manchester United. In the second half, there were some sweet returns that led to both of our goals. We saw the trio of Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial and Jaden Sancho all get some game time. The big story before the game, of course, was that Mr. Sancho was going to be in the matchday squad and just hearing the crowd cheer for him. Sancho, Sancho, Sancho. Seeing a smile on his face as he waited on the touchline with Eric Ten Hag. It was a heartwarming moment. And I pray that as time goes by, us fans don't fall into the pot of negativity and remember this scenario going forward because it's, it's bigger than a lot of people think. I agree with everything that CM says in that second part. I couldn't help but smile. And of course, Martial's back as well. We both hope that he can stay fit from now until the end of the season because there's no doubt in my mind of how important he can be in this team we saw that link up the, the, the special link up of that front three when they came on and, and some of the one touch foot was just scintillating sizzling in a frying pan in the end we just capitalized off a forest side that were tired as the second half progressed they made crucial mistakes and in the 72nd minute, Anthony Martial opened the scoring. Three on two counter. Tony gives it to Rashford who shot originally gets blocked and there was some fortune with the bounce of the ball but once it made its way to the Frenchman, no mistake in that left foot. Mm -hmm. Pure. Fred's goal was also a lovely move. Shifted out to the right hand side by Sancho, picked up a lot of central areas when he came on. Mm. Ten Hag briefly touched on his versatility as a 10 and as a winger. And I'm just excited to see what the future holds for our front line. Back to the goal as Bruno received the ball. And can I just say, in this game, Bruno Fernandes was on one. The yeah. stuff he was pulling off um. from the first to the very last minute. Disgusting. 
absolutely disgust. The audacity to slap an outside of the boot pass towards the back post fans Reshi who breaks bread with the pasta. Hear that bar? And that was that. <laughs> that was that, ladies and gents. Through to the cup final, emphatically. Lone signing Marcel Sabitza was in the stand watching. No doubt he'll probably be ready for our Palace game on the weekend, but I feel he could be a great replacement for Ericsson, who unfortunately is ruled out until April, I believe. Welcome in, Marcel. You know what, CM? What's up? There was one thing that we almost forgot to do <laughs> before the end of this episode. Again, ladies uh... and gentlemen, do you guys remember back in the day in the United Twins when we didn't have a Question of the day? That was me. Shut up. Roll the clip. Name is a player. My name is affiliated with both Manchester United and Crystal Palace. As a player, I scored 70 goals and 373 appearances for the Red Devils and also won an FA Cup in 1977. Okay. After retirement, I managed the Eagles on four separate occasions, famously leading my side to a 1990 FA Cup final appearance where we eventually were runners up. Who am I? Here, like on the vid, subscribe to the channel, you respect the tweet now. Back to the video, answer the thing and hop in the chat. Talk question, question time! Question time! So, how did everybody fare in this episode's question of the day? Let's reveal the answer right here, right now. So, if everybody got the name Steve Koppel, you are a hundred percent correct. Player for Manchester United from 1975 to 1983. Crystal Palace was his first managerial job in 84, where he spent nine years there in his first spell. Koppel would also manage the Eagles three more times in 95, 96, 97, 98, and finally 1999 to 2000. If you got the answer correct, slap a one in Z chat. If it's based off your own memory, that's quite a mazzaline, isn't it? If you use Google, slap a two in the chat just so that we can put the statistic together. But don't be ashamed to use Google. Not one bit, trust us. But if you didn't, you didn't even bother, at least slap a three in the chat to let us know that you didn't take part. But next time, <laughs> next time, if you don't take part, I will personally send a hit man. Hitman settings agent 47 to your door. Please, be sure to take part next time, people. But anyway, I want to big up everybody for the support over these United Twins episodes. You guys have been doing a mazzaline. Keep the support going. Drop a Thank like you. on the video. Subscribe if you do. Share it to your friends and frenemies. And I think I'm going to leave you all with this perfect, this perfect quote by Eric Ten Hart. So, he said, it's good to reach the final, but it's not about reaching the final. It is about winning it. You see, Newcastle were in their first cup final since 1999. But funny enough, they lost to Manchester United in the FA Cup, that wonderful 99 season. Will history repeat itself? We will have to see on February the 26th. CM, until then, we look to the next fixture. Never too far ahead. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, take care. Enjoy Crystal Palace. And until the next time, we'll see you lot sooner. Bit.